Hey, what's up, everyone? We're here in Angola, Indiana. Got like ourselves a little short run today. Show you here in a second. Look what we got. You ever seen these like dumpster deals here? One, two, three, four, five. They uh, drive up into the forklift. And you you know you hit this and it boom and it kind of tips down. I forget what they're actually called. Uh, well, that's it. I don't see it. I don't see what they're actually called, but. We got about 200 miles. Said we can deliver this thing tomorrow morning, but they said that they're they're there till six o'clock tonight. So, so we're about just about four hours, Etna, Ohio. So, yeah, let's we'll see if we can get down there and deliver these things. Said they're going to a new uh, construction site. So they usually do like Walmarts or Walgreens and something like that. So they gave me no contact numbers and you know how that goes. So I was able to call the, the consignee, but the consignee comes out of like Kentucky or something, you know, and uh, he got me through to the guy that's in charge on, on the job site. So, so we got his phone number, called him, let him know that we were coming with this stuff. And, and he told me, he actually gave me a screenshot because like on the Google Maps it showed it was like a fuel station. But he gave me the right address. It was right down the road. And it's actually, you know, it's right there. Right next to it. So, so we're going to go there now. And we're going to, uh, we're going to get out of this trailer the right way, right? Let's do it. Here we go. Whoa! No jumping this time. Ugh. All right, let's get sealed up here. All right, make a quick little fuel stop. Wapa Canada. Let's go get these things unloaded. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's up, everyone? So uh, you can see from the first clip that that I did not make another clip. So we got delivered. We got our trash cans, dumpsters, whatever you want to call them, flip up dumpsters. I don't know, but it was uh, you actually will go into a job site like they said, and uh, and and what usually happens, you know, I pulled into the wrong entrance, you know, so they get turned around. And, we found where we had to go only in the back and we got it for a little bit. No time at all. Um, like on the Raycon said it was like a 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. delivery or something like that. So, and I tried to make it there and deliver the same day, but that didn't quite happen because Columbus just murdered us trying to get through there. So so we delivered the first thing this morning. Got it sent in for the week and not a bad week this week. I think we grossed just right at 5,300. So that's, that's a pretty good week there. Um, right now we got us a load we're picking up here in Columbus. Hey, can you load something up for me, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. Can you look up trip number 8475? It was in September. September! Twenty-five. Eighty-four seventy-five. What do you need to know? I need to know if you get fuel. Uh, no. Okay, then That's how it works, people. We're trying to fix our uh, trucking office deal and kind of keep track of what I was doing. And uh, for the longest time, I was uh, my profit and everything was like always in the negative. 
I know I wasn't in the negative, but I was keying it in wrong, so. Smarty over here figured it out, so are we good now? So she's going back fixing everything, so. So this month will be actually the first month I get to pull my P&L and actually see how I did for the whole month. The correct way. <laughs> We got us a good load coming out of Columbus. We got to get back up to York, PA today. 394 miles. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Can you look at 8498? 8498. 8498. You didn't put how much you made in here. What? I didn't even put in how much I got paid. I got paid for that load three thousand dollars. Yeah, right. No fuel in anything. No, there's two two fuel stops right there. Here, just Well, I'm gonna have to look the no. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we'll get these things figured out. But um, the yeah the um the route there was like a couple different routes that we could have take over there. One was go up 80 up to the mountains and come back down or the fastest shortest way hit the turnpike so we had to take the turnpike so I uh, he said on the toll guru the toll guru app says it's only gonna be sixty six dollars in toll so see what happens you know it's probably gonna be the fastest way but I gotta be there before eleven o'clock tonight and uh, I got a full clock right now it's uh 9.53, so appointment was until 10, and we've been here for about 45 minutes, so we needed to get out of here shortly. So I think they loaded that dude over there, and there's another guy over here, so hopefully it won't take too long. So it says it should only take seven hours to get there, so you know, that's what's going on. So Once we get out of here and get rolling, we're probably, I'm not sure if we're going to have to get weight or not. We'll have to get some fuel, get down the road make it to York PA tonight, so that's going to be interesting. Alright, talk to you a little bit.
a dark one out here. Man, what a late night. Late night hang out at this place. Man, I thought I was gonna get a little bit lucky. We got here about 7.30. We made it here early. I had like an 11 o'clock appointment. 11 p.m. appointment. I was hoping I could get unloaded. Not so much. Yeah. They made us wait till about 10.45 and they put us in the door. It's about, about 12.15 now. Luckily they got over in that parking because like, you can see my hours. Shoot, my hours were gone probably probably an hour after I got here. So thank goodness for that. So we got overnight parking. We are chilling out. <laughs> Man. So yeah, yeah, pretty good day today. You know, we we got delivered, picked up, and delivered. So not bad. But you know, the bad thing is I don't have a load for tomorrow yet. My hero. York, PA. It's like a little bit south of Carlisle, so. Hopefully I can find something for tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm really going to be in a hurry to get up. Try to catch up on a little bit of sleep. You know. you know, truthfully, my 10 hour break will be up in 5 hours, but, you know, I ain't going to roll out of here with less than 5 hours sleep. Because I still got to send all my paperwork in. Got to get paid. Got to get paid. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but um, for right now, we're gonna end her here. York, PA, about 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> what a day, we'll talk to you guys later.